so look, so look, let's say you buy one of the original projects, uh, an NFT, the original project, it's like having, a, 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 a what's that painting's name? A Lisa Ann painting? <laughs> Is that what it's called? Lisa the Ann, girl, the, the porn star? Bro, you know what I'm talking <laughs> What's what? that one painting called? Bro, Mona Lisa? Bro, yes, you said yes, that one. Mona Lisa is Lisa Ann, dude? Yeah. Um, so this new variant, do you think that it could, do you think we're good? I don't know. I don't think we're good ever. I think that no matter what happens, like misinformation is so prevalent. So no matter what happens, there's going to be a load of people that make money by just, you know, going against the grain and making it seem like they're ind independent thinkers. Um, you know, some people uh, sell gambling. Wait, 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 wait. Some people sell wait. gambling to their audience and some people peddle vaccine misinformation. Really, bro? One is worse really? than the other. Don't get me wrong. The other is significantly worse and should be deplatformed. I don't think... Uh, I, I don't I don't put gambling in the same uh, rank as the other, but Thank you know you. people people try to make money that way all the time, and it's a it's a very it's basically a, a very easy way to just you know cultivate Hold an up. audience. It, was it was the Delta was the Delta strain pretty pretty powerful or no? The Delta the Delta variant was yes very powerful, and the reason why the Delta variant was very powerful, <laughs> someone in the chat said, "Is this just a random viewer talking?" <laughs> no, this is another Twitch streamer chat. Uh, uh, but the Delta variant was more, the Delta variant was more powerful than the original COVID. Okay. So the original COVID, uh, the, if you got the regular vaccine, on one second, I'm, I'm wrapping this up. Give me one second. Hold on one second. My boy's walking. You good? Oh, he's streaming. He's streaming. Okay. Yeah. 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 I'm almost done wrapping this up with this last combo. Sorry. What do you got handlers over there, dude? Oh, I have an assistant. Oh, oh, nice. I, I still don't, yeah. but listen, uh, the original, the original neat. COVID like people had the original COVID, uh, when, when the vaccines first came out, it was actually, when the vaccines first came out, it was pretty effective in like stopping people from even getting COVID, but Delta actually, uh, Delta actually ended up penetrating that and penetrating those defenses. And you started getting what is known as breakthrough cases. Okay. But even with the breakthrough cases, even with the breakthrough cases, like 99% of people that were in the hospital from COVID were unvaccinated still. Before the vaccines ever came out, before the vaccines ever came out, 100% of the people were unvaccinated in the hospital and dying from COVID. Vaccines came out, the number of hospitalizations Bro. decreased. What? Real quick, why did you use the word penetrate? Because it's that's how it works. What do you mean? Like it, it, it's a breakthrough case, so it's like penetrating through your defenses. Oh my god, dude, you are literally like chat. You are exactly like a chatter that I would have. If I brought up a chatter right now, he would say the exact same thing. He would be giggling like you when I said pe penetrate. Look at the chat right now. People giggling. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. All right. All right. To end this off, bro. I just want to say this on. I love you so much. I know you and I feel differently about the gambling thing, but hey, either way, I love you. You know you love me, right? Do you still love me? <laughs> hey, if you, if you do yeah, good, then yeah. It's a yes or no question. Do you love me, still? bro? I, me I would. I would. I if you kiss. if you stop if you stop gambling streams and and stop bro. scamming, then yeah, I would. All right, I keep all, telling you now to do it. Okay, hold on. Forget that. How do I scam? Explain how I scam. Well, like the crypto rug pulls and all this other shit. Like, what, what was crypto? there? There was another oh, like. You, first of all, wasn't there like oh maze or something? Oh, you were doing that you, too. No, no. Do you what own an NFT? That? Do you own an NFT? Yes or no? No. So you, why? I think it's a it's a scam. That's why I don't own an NFT. I think what? NFTs are scams. What? All of them? All of the NFTs are scams. It just depends on how many people validate it, but it's always going to still be a scam. Like, yeah. So so why? Okay, here's my thing, right? Rappers, you look up little baby. Why are you so surprised these... I don't own an NFT? I don't give a. Because every every single every single streamer I've talked to, YouTuber has an NFT. Everybody. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm one. not like it, it's a it's a multi level it's not marketing a scam, scheme. bro. It's literally the same exact concept as a multi-level marketing scheme. Do you know what that is? Do you know what an MLM is? Like Herbalife? No. Like Herbalife? Really? Listen, I'm just told, listen, my thing is, maybe you're, I don't know if you're right or wrong. I don't, I, I have NFTs because I buy them. But here's my thing, right? I just, I get told, yo, Aiden, buy this, buy that. I'm like, okay, for sure. Like, I just have people I listen to. So, but look, I don't know anything about it, to be honest. But what I can say is, like, if you buy it's about. Like, it's do about. You know, do you know what? Do you know what a boarding ape is? Have you ever heard of that? What that is? Like what ape, board ape? Table? Yeah, I do. The or board ape yacht club. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So are those bad? I don't understand. How are those bad? I mean, it just it doesn't. It's just a purely speculative asset. What that means is there's no commodity. There's no good. There's no services being exchanged. It's Not just yet. basically you're pointing to something. No, no, no. 
You're well, pointing Sonic, to something and you. saying here's there's a lot of you. look. Our world is going to be based off of VR one day. One day we're all going to just be sitting, yeah, sitting down and being in a VR world, and we're not really be living in our real yeah, lives. yeah, yeah. That's that. fine. Do you uh, think okay, so? Uh, so, I I do think so. Yes, we will be so in the metaverse or whatever, and that's really devastating metaverse. and that's yes. really dangerous. But we're not talking about the philosophy of the metaverse right now. We're, not, we're okay, talking about crypto. Is, so look, so look. Let's say you buy one of the original projects, uh, an NFT, the original project. It's like having a, 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 a what's that painting's name? A Lisa Ann. Painting, <laughs> is that what it's called? Lisa you know, Ann, the, the porn star? Bro, you know what I'm talking <laughs> What? What's that one painting called? Bro, Mona Lisa? Not... Bro, you yes, said yes, that one. Mona Lisa is Lisa Ann, dude? Yo, come on, bro. Yo, you know what I meant, bro. You, you know thought what I meant. Mona Lisa was Lisa no. Ann? What the f- <laughs> Yo, Hassan, come on, bro. You know what I meant, bro. <laughs> oh, I did not. <laughs> Hassan, bro, listen, bro. All right, my point is- Bro, you gotta do. You're the one person that's gotta do no nut November, dude. I swear to God. All right, Hassan, listen, bro. Listen, you know what I was trying to say. So look, you. So you agree with what I'm saying about the metaverse? Is a, it's sad. I agree with you. It's sad. It's I I do. Yes, I do. I do okay. think that we're all we're all shifting over to yeah. a, a metaphysical reality over the over the permanent physical reality that we live in. Yes. Okay, so f everything else, let's just talk about NFT right now. Okay, I well, think NFTs are bullshit currently as it stands and will continue to be bullshit. And here's why. Because right yeah. now, because all NFTs are worth something because other people think it's worth something. Okay, there's no service. It's not okay, productive. Look at a Picasso painting. Look at a Picasso painting. Yes, art is... Picasso, it once, Picasso once sold a painting with just a blue dot or some shit like that and it was worth millions of dollars. I could go put that. You get what I'm saying? Like, isn't it the same thing? Because of the name, because the people put art it is that like much. that. Yes, art valuation is also oftentimes a scam and oftentimes used for money laundering and tax evasion purposes. The main difference between NFTs and like artists like Picasso and whatnot is that there's also a level of training and level of uh, uh, professionalism that goes into it. Like these are classically wait, trained painters and shit. And there's any money in like, wait, hold on. do you have any money? Like, and there's also money historical money? value. These aren't like cut and paste, uh, like monkey photos where you put like a hair on top of you change up the hair and it's being used as currency and it's being used as currency that fluctuates in value specifically so that someone else could purchase it. When I buy a Picasso, when I buy an original Picasso, it's a one of one, okay? It's impossible yeah. to recreate. There's an entire economy that revolves around like figuring out whether it's authentic or not. With NFTs, you could literally replicate it. With a Picasso, there are colors that are used in certain paintings that no longer are in existence. There's like carbon dating to figure out if it's a real or authentic piece of art or whatnot. Now, obviously it's still, you are correct. It is still subjective. Like it's okay. still, it's still like very much a uh, qualitative analysis. But the difference between something like that, that has historic value, is that there's at least like years and years of legitimacy associated with it, with I, the art. I, I think so too. Whereas with I, NFTs, I it's and like I, you can right click, cool have, save. It's, first of all, it's cool to have something physical as well. Honestly, I own a couple of NFTs, um, you know, like the, the original ones, like the ones that are, that everyone, like all the rappers have and all the, like, you know what I'm saying? I have, I have those ones. But um, let me ask you do, you, do you want, do you have any crypto, any Bitcoin, ETH, any of that or no? Mm -mm. What do you invest your money into if you don't want me at, or is that too personal? I don't. To no, you can ask me. I don't. No. I have a, I okay. have a, an SCP, What's like that? whatever the 401k is for people that don't, uh, uh, people who are self-employed and that's it. I don't even, I don't do anything. I don't even have a credit card, but that's not because what? like I'm so woke or anything. I just don't have like, I just don't would invest. You, would, you, would you have a credit score? Uh, I mean, I have a house, so yeah, I have a credit score now, but it's, it's not great. Well, you have a house in LA. Yeah. I bought a house. You bought it completely all, all like you know is it a mortgage or you bought it all no i know? fucking of course i didn't buy it up for like, like cash of course i uh, mortgaged it yeah i have a mortgage oh congr yeah. bro that's, that's uh, congratulations i didn't even know that first of all congratulations yeah. on that that's awesome yeah um, well you all, know people people didn't feel that way uh, i think a lot of people were very upset why you bought bro, a it made house. it to fox news okay what yeah people were very they were like socialist what? but owns a house wait you're a socialist <sighs> i do believe in socialism yes I don't even know what that is, bro. To be honest with you, I don't know what that is. Well, let me tell you what it's not. It's not when you're. <laughs> it's not. It's not not owning a house, as most people think. So you have a step up on all the dumb idiots uh, all over the internet. Wait. Okay. What's the difference between socialism and communism? Socialism is an economic organization of society where workers own the means of production. Communism 
is a final state that you could arrive through socialism, Whoa. which is a. Hold on, real quick, real quick. There's a guy named Aiden A I D N in your chat. Then. Yes, he's one of my mods, and he's also he also works at Twitch. You work at Twitch. Your name is Aiden. Hey, what's up, Aiden? Yeah, he hates that every time I every time I dunk on you, he uh, he thinks that they're you know talking about him. <laughs> oh no, Aiden, he's talking about. Oh, he waved to me. Hey, Aiden. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Sorry. Communism is a. Uh, is a involved society a final evolution of society where there's no money there's no class it's a moneyless classless stateless borderless society as oh, in bernie, isn't bernie sanders a socialist, socialist bernie basically? sanders is a socialist yes so bernie so bernie basically wanted to make everything equal much, no right? that's not what socialism is that's what people think socialism is but it has nothing to do with socialism socialism is simply about what is fair if you are a worker okay and you put a lot of effort in or even a little bit of effort in you are creating what is known as value okay through your work yeah socialists believe that you should be able to if you work hard or even if you just work in general you should be able to get more from that work you should be able to own the means of production you should be able to own the pickaxe that you use if you're working a mine you should have an ownership stake in the mine itself and that uh, yeah, you me, should why, make why more say, money from uh, generating the value. Why are they saying radicalizing? What the fuck does that mean? Why are they saying that? What the fuck? Just don't worry about it. They're just memeing. In America, people consider socialism to be a radical concept. Yeah, the rest of the world, yeah, yeah. they don't. But in America, they do. What the fuck and is that Santa with the mouth open? What the fuck? What the fuck is a, what the fuck is a, oh, it's an Omega Lol. <laughs> yeah, it's an Omega Lol with, with the Santa hat. Hannah. Hannah hat, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. Okay, so let me ask you a question, right? Why were you in the news exactly? Because you bought a house? Yeah, because I have a lot of haters. So when I do stuff, they like to say I'm being hypocritical. They claim that it's hypocritical. They ascribe a certain set of values to me that I do not believe in. But because everyone believes in this dumb shit and no one knows what the fuck socialism means, uh, a lot of people go along with it. Bro, so I'm going to be honest, bro. I've never met anyone that does not like you, bro. I'm being honest. I've never met anyone that does not like you. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. On the internet, though, there's a lot of people who don't. I don't see it. A lot of people don't like me. Yeah, because you do gambling streams and you do crypto rug pulls. Oh and my I've God, told you bro, that I they money. won't. I have, money. I have money in Bitcoin. I have money in ETH. I have NFTs. And yes, I gamble. You bought yeah. a house. So okay. you're not perfect either. But, okay. Okay, you but that's. A house. You asshole. Okay. You understand that there's a difference between like attacking someone for like a normal thing that they did, like buy a house. First of all, why did you get attacked? I don't understand. You didn't explain it. Why did you get because attacked? Because people hate. Okay. Because I advocate for uh, certain values in a way that society should be reorganized that I believe is most helpful for those who, uh, those who work, right? For workers, like the average but Joe. Because I want them to have a better quality of life. All right, a liberal. Yo, you're really on Fox News for that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. I what want the them. You... I want them to have a good quality of life. I want them to have more. Shit. What? How many bedrooms is your shit? I'm about to. Can I come stay with you? Well, yeah, you can stay with me. How many bedrooms you got? Uh, five. Well, Do technically four. Do you have a girlfriend? I, I, you asked me this already. No, I, I don't. <laughs> Do you live with anybody or not? Just by yourself? Um, I live with my mom uh, when she comes oh, to nice. visits. I, I always have like people over. Yeah, people staying cool. with me. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. What part of LA are you in? In West Hollywood. Oh, fire, bro. It's a nice spot. Okay, so look. Basically, let me ask you questions, right? So you bought this house and they made an article about you. Why are they on your dick, though? I don't understand. They're on my like, dick are because, you on, are you, are because, you because they see me as a... An enemy okay they they believe that the world view i have is wrong immoral bad and it's destructive okay that's what they think i think they're wrong so that's the reason why they use anything and everything they can to attack me and because they can't find something that's substantive because i don't really do a lot of things that they would consider to be like truly immoral or that i myself would consider to be immoral they can't find anything like that so they just like latch on to whatever the they can and oftentimes what that is is something that you would never in a million years think is ridiculous people believe that if you're a socialist you can't be successful they're wrong people believe that if you're a socialist that means like you believe in like everything has to be equal everyone has to live in like gray brutalist uh, buildings it is also wrong oh so basically you're getting fried for this because you believe in socialism and socialism and people think that socialism is everything's equal when in reality you bought a mansion Yes, that's precisely what it is. You got, got it. it. But that's not the How case. How dare you? How dare you? 
Yeah, there you go. Really? I'm kidding. There I'm you kidding. go. That's 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 that's, that's how it works. That's how it works. But okay, I get it. look, bro. You you worked hard for your. You know you you deserve it, man. You deserve it. Anyways, Hassan, I love you so much. All right. Um, I'm gonna keep watching you. I love you. I got a shower. I really smell like. All right, go shower. go shower and uh, thanks yes, for coming on. How many how many days a week do you shower? By the way. How many days a week do I shower? Uh, I yeah. shower every day. It's such a lie. I hate when people lie about that shit. Anyways, no, bro, I shower bro, every day. Why would I lie about that, bro? Nobody showers every fucking day, bro. Let's just be honest right now. Nobody does, bro. Okay, well, I do shower every day. Uh, I don't know why. I shower every day that I work out, and usually I work out every day, so I shower every day. Your age gaming. Guess what, Josh? Guess what? Look at me, Josh. Look. Nobody in the chats can understand, but I watch your age, your age, your knees. Your knees, bitch. I love you, song. Goodbye. All right, peace. Okay, uh, let me just turn this off real quick. Put it into studio mode. All right, that was Aiden Ross, folks. I lost brain cells. Joke is that your rage has bad knees. Poor chat. What does that mean? Aiden doesn't know the other reason why you were on Fox News. Bro, I was talking about this before. I was talking about this last night. My knees are normal. Um, the other reason why I was on Fox News, I have been perfectly vindicated since then. Like, no one is more vindicated than me. The other reason why I was on Fox News was because of my comments about, you know, Dan Crenshaw and shit, right? Except, like, 11 documentaries fucking came out since then, on the 20th anniversary of 9-11, that completely vindicated me. Like, in, in a way that is unfathomable, okay? In an unfathomable way. Like, and look where we're at now, dude. Holy shit. Can you explain how owning a $2.7 million home is justifiable under socialism? Yes, because I evenly distribute this dick to your mom. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>